Hey, this is Chris, and welcome to another SQL Minute. And today I'd like to talk to you about the difference between inner and outer joins. So here on my screen, you should be seeing a person table and a person phone table. I'm going to use this as an example throughout my discussion here. So let's assume that what we want to do is create a phone directory of all the people and their phone numbers. And now, better yet, we're only going to include their work phone number. So what I would be doing here is setting up an inner join where I would be joining the business entity ID from the person table to the business entity ID of the person phone table. And when I use an inner join, what's happening is, is that the join condition is going to make sure that I'm, I'm matching those column values from both rows of the tables and only bringing back rows into my result where that join condition is true okay so the final result would be a list of people with their work phone number and i can show you what that looks like right now let's bring up a query window here and paste in my sql and see here where i have my magic number for uh, the work numbers i just know that it's type id number three I have an inner join. We're going to join on the person phone. I'm going to kind of rearrange this a little bit so it's a little easier to read. All right. And I'm going to join on person to person phone and only bring, bring, back, bring back those roles where the business entity ID matches. So when I do this, notice that I'm getting back 736 rows. And also notice that in every one of these cases, you see a phone number, right? So that means that we're when, we, when we're going across from people to phone, it's bringing back those exact matches. So the next question may be, well, how would I bring back every person in the person table and only show a work number if they had one defined? Is there a way to do that? And of course there is, it's called an outer join. And the difference between an inner and outer join is what happens when uh, the join condition doesn't match. So in an inner join, when there's a um, the join condition doesn't match, the rows are rejected and they're not part of the result. With an outer join, we have the opportunity to retain a row from one side of the join condition and then replace uh, the other table that we're trying to join to that we don't match, we can replace those columns with no. And the sidedness is called left and right. And what happens is, is that if I do a left outer join, then my left table is the person table because it's on the left side of the join condition, as you can see here, left and right. And I'll be matching every person left outer join. Let's make this outer now and bring back every person and only bring back a phone number if it matches. If a phone number doesn't match, then I bring back a null value. So let's see how this works. Let's see, I got from person ASP outer join. Cause that's not gonna work. I gotta say left here. So I can say left outer join. Yeah, no red, we're happy. All right, let's run it. Now notice that I'm getting back many more people. I got 19,000 some rows coming back. Also notice that under the phone number, there are some nulls. And what's happening here is, is that Catherine Abel does not have a work phone number. So she still shows up in the list because it's the left outer join. But since we can't match a phone number, we get a null value back. So I hope this is really helping you understand how left joins work versus outer joins and if you really enjoy this, I'd like you to look in the comments and click on my link that talks about how to code like a boss because there I can sh share with you many more SQL tips to help you get past the beginner stage and into the intermediate level. All right, have a great day.